What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Casper's Kicks, as always. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, and staying blessed. So today for y'all, I have a sneaker review over an Easter-themed Jordan that recently came out. As I said in my Air Max 90 Love Letter video, I know it's past Easter, not my fault. These shoes actually did come out on Easter, but I actually just picked them up uh, yesterday. Yesterday was actually the release day for the Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. I had no luck getting pairs. I'm still working on trying to get a pair so I can do a review on them for y'all. I will hopefully have one this week coming up. But as always, we'll see. Just stay tuned for that video. But like I said, I do have an Easter themed Jordan that came out April 3rd. It came out around Easter time. So it wasn't a delayed Nike release or anything like that. I just got the shoe late. I had a friend that wanted it. So I ended up picking it up for him. So before I go deliver it to him, I'm going to do a quick review over it just so y'all can see it. But as always, like, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Stay tuned as always. Hope y'all enjoy this one and let's get into it. So like I said, I do have an Easter themed Jordan 12 for y'all. It's a Jordan 12 low. Now, I honestly, with Jordan 12, Jordan 12s, you know, are really comfortable Jordans. One of the probably more comfortable Jordans they have. I really don't, I don't think, I, I don't own a pair of 12 lows. I have, I think, two pair of 12 highs. And I, I enjoy wearing Jordan 12s. I think it's a very versatile shoe. They go with a lot of different things. So this is actually the first 12 low that I've had. So it'll be cool just to get a look at it, do a review on it. But I do have a size 12 Air Jordan 12 low. Now the tag reads Air Jordan 12 retro low. The colorway is white, multicolor white. Retail on the shoe is 200. I don't know if you can see that there. It is 200 for retail. So just to start with the box, now y'all love, I always bring up the dope details that Jordan puts into these boxes. So with this one, with it being an Easter themed shoe, they did add a little Easter egg on here in the Jordan, around the Jordan logo. And I thought that was really cool. Something different for sure. Y'all know I always love when they add little different things. And it just things like this are just great details to add. And then just the rest of the box is just a regular Jordan 12 box. Nothing else really major changed to it except just, just the Easter logo. So let's get into the box. So to stick with the Easter theme, they did add, let's see if I can do this. Let me, let me take the shoes out first and then I'll show you the paper. Give me one second. Take the shoe out. So to stick with the Easter theme, like I was saying, they did actually add Easter theme paper with this one. So this is actually green, kind of like, almost like uh, grass paper that they added to stick with the Easter theme. So and just another great detail that they added with this box. So let's get into the shoe, let's get with the box. So this is the Jordan 12 Low Easter. Now, I'm gonna give y'all 360 as always. This is a, a really, it's a really simple shoe. Nothing too extravagant about it. I do like the little hints of detail that they put on here. I thought were really cool. So let's just go ahead and get into the shoe. So the, the base color pretty much all over the shoe is just white. You get white on the toe box, white on the, on the foot side here, on the outside of the foot, just all the way around. You get white laces, you get a white tongue, you do have a black heel tab here. The outsole is a mixture of blue and white. So you see that there's blue and white. It's like an icy blue bottom. Uh, it is like, I don't know what the detail is. It is like almost like carbon. I don't think it's carbon, but inside the, the middle of the outsole, you do have that little design there. And then you have almost like a, a gray Jordan Jumpman there. You do have 23 on the heel as well. And then I do like one of the cool things I think with the shoe is they have the iridescent piece there right uh, on the midfoot. And they have it here as well on the little lace hole as well. It's just that iridescent color and you have it on both sides. And that's a really cool color that they added on with this one. The insole, or not the insole, but the ankle liner on the inside is white. And then you also have a pink insole as well. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I believe it's pink. Yeah, it's pink on this insole as well. Both insoles are pink. So, it's a really, really simple shoe. Nothing too crazy about it. Even the white, now the whites are different. So like this is more of like a tumbled leather white here and you get that on both sides here. But then the 
white on the rest of the shoe is almost like I don't know how to describe it uh, like I'm not really sure how to describe that color but it's all this right here and it's just a different leather it's not the tumble leather but just a different type of uh, white leather the laces are cool I'm not I think I think white laces go well with this one I don't think there really should be any other laces that go with this colorway I don't think like black maybe pink laces would do well with this I don't know I'm not sure it's, it's a men's shoe so I'm not sure if men will want pink laces in these but yeah like I said it, it's a very simple shoe nothing too extravagant with this one you know they they did kind of keep it toned down I will say also I just noticed this the jump in on the heel on under the toe box is like a teal kind of greenish color there and also with the 23 as well there's too so just a little subtle details that they added to this shoe to kind of make it pop if I had to rank the shoe I would probably give it a I'd probably do seven out of ten like I said it's a really simple shoe if you're looking for something that's not multiple colors and popping all over the place this is for sure the shoe to go with and it is great you know next year when it's Easter time you can pull out this shoe and be like hey look what I have and people of course aren't gonna they it's an Easter themed shoe so you just rock it during that time or even with summer coming up this is a great summer shoe just the all white and this is the other shoe the all white of course is always great for summer can't go wrong with it and it's a low so you don't even have to have your foot in the high in the high 12 you know the lows are great for summer as well you can wear low cut socks with these as well and then i will read the heel tab it does say jordan quality inspired by the greatest player ever and that's what that says and you have the jordan jumpman logo up there as well so that's the review for this shoe. Like I said, it's it's a real, it's nothing too crazy. You know, they kept it simple with this one, which I, I do love. Sometimes you just need a simple shoe in your collection. I don't know, like this one for me personally, if I were to come across this shoe for retail, I'd probably grab it just to get, just to have it in the collection. But if I were to pay resale for it, I probably wouldn't pay too much above resale for it. I know they're not going too much above retail right now. I think it's, I want to say like 240, maybe 250 for the resale value right now. So it's not going too much above what they released as. But let me know in the comments what you think about these. Were you able to cop the Easter 12 lows? I think they did sell out on sneakers and they had them all over the place. I know JD, Finish Line, uh, Foot Locker, all those foot sites had them. So just let me know in the comments if you were able to get the shoe. What do you think about this colorway as well? Is it too simple for you? Would you like more colors in it? Did they knock the Easter theme out of the park? I do think the biggest Easter, the, the pink insole is the biggest, you know, hint towards Easter. Just like almost like a pink Easter, uh, Easter egg. You know, you have the different color Easter egg. So the pink insole kind of reminds me of that. Now the colorway itself, I don't know how it too much ties to the Easter theme. And maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments if you think something different that this does tie to the Easter theme. Easter theme. But I do think the biggest thing is the insole, which ties very well with Easter eggs and just that bright color of Easter. But let me know if you're able to copy these. Let me know what you think about this colorway. Are you a fan of Jordan 12 lows or do you prefer Jordan 12 highs? You know, there's a lot of 12 colorways that they have. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to have more lows coming out this year. I know they have 11 lows coming out. But it's no telling if they have more Jordan 12 lows. But we'll see when that comes around. But as always, I appreciate you all for tuning in. As I said earlier in the video, like the video, comment, leave a comment below. There's a plethora of things you can leave a comment on. I'm always active in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. As always, stay safe and stay blessed. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And I will catch y'all later.